Good morning, grade 2 boys and girls. This will be your mathematics video. We are going to look at the revision for term 2, workbook 1, which you have received during the drive-through. Right, the first day we are going to do mental maths, and you have to do this in 6 minutes time. I'm going to quickly just read through the questions, but not help you to answer them, because it is very quick sums. Which is heavier, a sock or a shoe? But the correct sign, bigger as or smaller as, which one is bigger, 79 or 97? One less than 80 is, if I say 50 rand plus 20 rand plus 20 rand, how much money will I have? Write the following numbers from the big to small. Remember, always to start with the big number. Draw the hands into the following clocks. 9 o'clock and three, <coughs> half past 3. Complete the following patterns. If I look at the first pattern, it says 20, 18, 16. Now you have to ask yourself, what did I do with 20 to get to 18? What did I do with 18 to get to 16? If I say 20 to 18, it was minus 2. And from 18 to 16, it was minus 2. Now you have to do the same to get the following two numbers. 75, 80, 85. What did I do with 75 to get to 80? I plus 5. What did I do with 80 to get to 85? I plus 5 again. So now you have to plus 5 with 85 to get your next number. Then 34 to 38. 34, what did I do with 34 to get to 38? I plus 4. What did I do with 38 to get to 42? Plus 4. Now you do the same to get the following two numbers. Then name the month before January. What month comes before January? Write the number between 149 and 151. What number will be in between? Write the number names of the following numbers. Now you have to write out the name in words for 47 and 99. Right, let's go to day 2. There is our day 2. And it starts with 2 times tables. And 4 and 3. Right, I'm going to do only the first one for you, and the rest you can do yourselves. 2 times 2 is 4. Right, let's see our next question. Draw a line of symmetry in the following shapes. Triangle, a heart, a square, and an arrow. I'm going to do the triangle for you. And a triangle has three <coughs> lines that we can put in. Remember, if I put a line of symmetry, it must be so that the shape can fold equally on top of each other. Let's see quickly. If I put a line of symmetry in here, it means if I fold, cut out this triangle and I fold it on my pink line, this side will fit exactly on top of that side. If I draw a line of symmetry on from this side up, then this little piece of triangle will fit onto that little piece of triangle. And same with this corner. If I draw a line of symmetry on this side, this side of the triangle will fit exactly on top of this side of the triangle when you fold it in half. Now you do the rest of the shapes. Answer the following sums. This is like mental math. You have to answer out of your head or you can use your number chart and start by 45 and count back 25 numbers. I'm going to do the first one. 50 plus 6 is 56. Break up the following numbers. Right. Remember when we break up numbers, you have to write the tens, the hundreds, the units and the tens. Right. If I look at 156, I'm going to break it up into 100 plus 50 plus 6. There you are. The rest you have to do yourselves. 
Now fill in bigger or smaller as or equal to. Can you all remember Mr. Crocodile? Less than, equal to and greater than. Remember the crocodile is a very hungry animal and it's big. It will always eat the biggest piece of meat. If you have to put two pieces of meat in front of him, he will take the biggest one. It works the same with the numbers. If you put 89 in front of him or 98 in front of him, which one is bigger? 98, which means is the crocodile's mouth needs to show to 98. And I'm going to leave this to two for you. Let's go to day three. Day three of work pack one is again mental mass. These ones I'm not going to answer, but I'm going to explain each question to you. What should be added to eight to make 17? Added means plus sign. Eh? So eight plus 17 is equal to. For more than zero is. More than means plus. So for more than zero is zero plus four. How many 50 cent coins do you need to make for rand? So you're going to say 50 cent plus 50 cent is one rand. Now you have to count up until four rand. The double of 20 is, is the same as 20 times two or 20 plus 20. How many days are there in a week? 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 is equal to, it's counting like in tens. Write the following numbers from small to big. So the smallest number here will be 2. You're going to start with 2. Then 90 plus 9 is equal to, name the first three months of the year, starting with, that's right, January. Cut the cake into four equal pieces. Where is our cake? And there it's bouncing in. Here's your cake. Please cut it nicely into four pieces. Please don't make a smaller piece because one of the friends are not going to be happy if somebody else gets a bigger piece. How many wheels are there on two cars? Well, if one car has four wheels, how many wheels does two cars have together? And the 100 minus 17 is... Remember, no cheating, and by cheating I mean no calculators, all out of your heads. Day 4. Complete the number bonds. Number bonds of 12, number bonds of 13, number bonds of 14. Now, if you remember, we did this in class, where you draw the blocks in your book, 12, and one. So here, what number must I put in here to get 12? 1 plus 11 gives me 12. And you do the same with the 13s and the 14s. 9 plus 5 gives me 14. Right, and then here, you can see on top there's, a not a no, there's no number. But 0 plus 14 is equal to 14. Complete the following rainbow sums. Show all your calculations. You've got this exact same block in your work pack where I have done the first one for you, but now I'm going to do it step by step so that you can see why we wrote the calculations that way. If you have 25 plus 43 and you have to work out the calculations for this in a rainbow sum manner, <coughs> You are going to break up your numbers. I'm breaking up 25 and I'm breaking up 43. So remember when you break it up, you write your tens plus your units. So I say 20 plus 5 and I put it in their own little basket. Plus this plus sign is the plus sign given in the sum. 40 plus 3 and I put it in a basket. Right. Now I've got two baskets with my numbers break, that's broke up. I want now my tens all in one basket and my units all in one basket. 
So in my next row, I'm going to write my 20, there's my 20, and the 40, I'm going to put it so together in one basket. This will be my apples. My apples are together in one basket. Plus, and then I put my units in one basket. Five plus three, and that's in one basket. To make it easier for yourself, now you can add up your tens, and you can add up your units, and then you add them together. So 20 plus 40 is equal to 60. 5 plus 8 is equal to, ach, 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. So 60 plus 8 is 68. And that's the whole calculation for a rainbow sum. Now you do, you try this three. And we go to day five, your last day for work pack one. And let's see what they're asking. We've got two word problems there and blocks where you can write your answers. I'm going to do the first one, only the sum. I'm not going to work it out up until the end, just to show you how to write your sum out of the story. Let's read the story. Dad caught 22. Remember, 22 is a number, so you underline it. 22 and you start writing down. Okay, I've got my first number, 22. Fish in the morning. He threw five, through means, or through back means, minus, so you write down your minus, five, you underline your five and you write it down, back because he they were too small. He caught 12 more, 12, you write down your 12, because that's the first Num uh, the next number you see, more means plus, name. In the afternoon, how many fish did that have then? And that's your whole sum written down out of your story. So once you have identified the words, whether, it, whether it's minus or plus, and all your numbers, then you can start calculating your sum. The second sum says, at the park I saw 32 animals. I saw 12 dogs, 15 squirrels, and some frogs. How many frogs did I see? Now, you're going to try, just like I did here, you're going to try underline your numbers and underline the words that shows you whether it's a plus or a minus, and then you do your calculations. Okay. Now, un answer the following subtraction sums. But this is not any subtraction sums. It is money subtraction sums, which is a little bit different than normal subtraction sums because you've got signs you have to put with your answers. Otherwise, your answer is wrong. Now, now I'm going to do the first one for you. 50 cents minus 20 cents is 30 cents. Can you see I've put my cent sign in? If you say only 30, it's going to be wrong because it's not in a money form. Remember, when you work with rands, you're going to have a rand sign in front. Right, now you try this four that's left. And then the last question with this little pink thing here, it's going to make sense now. There we are. Fractions, color half of each shape. Now, I've chosen the heart. <clears throat> you draw your line of symmetry in your shapes, and then you color only one side of the shape. And that is all for week, for work pack one. Stay home, stay safe, and we are now ready for weekend. Have a nice day, boys and girls.